Quick shout out to my Patreons who keep this channel going. You can join my Patreon down in the description below. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're directing to the third episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge. This one's titled The Acoustic Saga of Love and Youth. Okay, so last week's episode was very interesting. It was definitely a uh, more um, focused episode for Saki, uh, which kind of tracks with how the show's been going for uh, the last season as well, in how it has more focused episodes based on each of the girls. Um, we really still haven't had a proper Yugiri based story yet, I don't think. So I assume she's going to get one at some point in this. I wonder if they're going to do any more with Tai. I feel like they have to, but I don't know where they're going to find a more focused episode for her. Unless they start to answer a bit of the questions of why she is the way she is, but I don't know if this show actually wants to explain that or just leave it up to like fan theories and stuff like that. She's actually a reincarnated dog brain, like, dealing with uh, uh, Romero and stuff like that. Like, I don't know if they're going to go, um, like, super deep into that sort of stuff. But, um, yeah. Uh, we had uh, White Rio, uh, Ryu, Ryo, I, I forget how you pronounce it, uh, as a talk show host, who is a real guy who's appeared in a lot of uh, stuff. Um, and, yeah, Saki kind of had a love for him because he saved her and gave her purpose. Uh, thanks to his radio show, uh, and whilst he is going to be retiring soon, with the, again, the hair gag, to have it droopy, like, it's such a simple thing, but it had so much comedy gold in it, in of itself. Just driving down the road and it just going, boom, boom, boom. Well, I don't know if it necessarily would do that in real life, but sure, we'll say it does. Um, but yeah, she wants to... Uh, keep the show going. She doesn't want him to retire because there's so many more people out there in Saga who need his words of inspiration and such, but he's like, it's it's not me. It's it's the spirit of Saga that needs to live on, and you are that spirit, essentially. Um, so Francis Chu is now the new host of that radio show, uh, although <laughs> the producers and stuff didn't seem too keen on it at first. Um, and Saki even confesses love to Ryo, uh, which was... Sakura had an appropriate reaction, as as expected, um, but obviously it couldn't get more than that. And we actually kind of touched on the point of, because they're zombies and they don't age, you're kind of stuck the way you are. And for Saki, I mean, she is... How old was Saki again when she uh, died? How old was she? How old is she, actually? She's 21. Right? Yeah, she was born 76, died 97, so she's... Yeah, she's 21. Not quite... Yeah, 21, because May to August. Yeah. Okay, I thought that was going to be a bit of a bigger issue with the age thing, but no. Uh, I guess just because he's old, she's young, he felt like it wasn't right, I guess. But, um... but yeah, also being a zombie means you can't really have a relationship either unless it's with another zombie, which I'm sure fanfic writers would love. But, you know, I don't think they're ever going to go that route with a romance between the idols in this. I don't think so, anyway. I, I don't know how much they want to touch on the romance aspect at all, really. Um, but yeah, it was a very good and somewhat emotional episode in itself, which was kind of surprising uh, this early on. Uh, Kotaro was also toned down a bit, so, other than his like intro bits. So it'd be nice to see if we get a bit more Kotaro this episode. I think this is going to be a Junko and I-focused episode. Uh, I think more focused on I than Junko, but I think both of them are getting the focus this time. So I'm excited to see uh, what that ends up being. So, going to the episode up here. As per usual, these are time-based former access here on YouTube. If you want to see the full picture and picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. Four pounds a month gets you access to all picture and picture actions I do on the channel, which is from the current seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as Local Horizon, which will be up later today. And I do mean later today. I think it's going to be a bit late for Local Horizon uploads, but they will come up today, I promise. Um, we also have movie actions with Wearing Review Movie coming on, uh, uh, Monday next week. At least that's the plan. Um, as well as the two existing movies, Wolf Children and, uh, what was the other one? Your Name. There we go. Got there in the end. Um, but here on YouTube, I have to do time base. So bottom left of the screen, you'll see a time for the episode. I count down three to one play. When I play, you start your episode. I start your episode and we should be in sync. We'll watch this one on Crunchyroll, since they licensed it as per usual. Uh, no logos or anything, we're just straight into the episode. Looks like we're zoomed in on the uh, the chalkboard at the moment. Uh, so I assume we'll pan out and Crunchyroll will have something to say. Um, but 
But yeah, uh, actually no, they normally do recaps, don't they? So we might be going into the recap first, uh, then we into the episode, I think. Um, be using screen flash on my face, the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. That should help you sync it up. And with all that said, let's get into uh, this week's episode, shall we? In three, two, one, play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go, the eyes. All right. We researching? Researching other idol groups. Mm -hmm. Suspicious. <gasps> All right, it'll be time. It's fucking impressive OP this is. Okay, six hour eleven you. Mm hmm Mm hmm <laughs> Kai's eyes are focusing on that fly. Mm hmm Yeah. And sink immediately, you gotta love it. <laughs> uh. Mm hmm. Uh 
Can't play this. <laughs> yeah, all those pressures on her. Uh. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I am for real, isn't that um Holy shit! <laughs> oh, Kotaro. Okay. What was the Iron Frill um, Eyes old group? Yeah. Ah, oh, we're the opening act. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yes. Right, we can't... Yeah. Showing ourselves in front of a former group. Mm. Right. Okay. I feel like this is Kotaro also... Because of the way he looked at her when she was, like, taking control and doing basically all the work. I think Cultural just wants everyone to realize they don't have to rely on her to get everything done. Hmm. That is true. Time to step up. It does look good. I'm so glad they had before this. That's per usual. Onion Fair? So dumb. Yep. Mm hmm. These two still investigating. Right. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting thinking. Mm-hmm. 
It won't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. But you realize how much they rely on you, don't you? Terrible. <laughs> uh, shut down my cards at all. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. That's true. Oh, solar version. I still like Awakening Returner as a song. Oh. I am frail in town. Fair. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, she literally is. To... That's more likely, yes. Mm-hmm.
Is that kid Bob? <laughs> it's actually, that's actually a Bob. I don't know if that's going to be necessarily impactful, but... <laughs> yeah... I don't know if it's gonna, not as it stands. That's a beautiful shot. Going into four by three, okay. Okay. Maybe this is what I meant by the acoustic saga of Love and Youth. <laughs> oh no. Off she goes. <laughs> Just pull her head off. Bye, buddy! Nice. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna leave a head there. Uh, it's just it's a stupid shot. Uh, mm hmm. Now the boy found a way up here eventually. It's gonna fall again, surely. Hmm. All I experienced was so low. And even in the group show, you'll often have like your center that you focus primarily on. Okay. That is true. Oh, I feel like it defeats the purpose of what Cultural wanted there. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Really? Okay. Yeah, it's hard to avoid that. Hmm. Oh boy. We got a scheming one here. Hmm. Oh shit. That's not gonna work. Oh, don't insult Saga. She won't accept this. I guess can be a two part of them this storyline. Oh boy. An easy time. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I would ever seriously consider that offer. Not after all they've been through so far. Nice. Preview. Pure Hearted Electric Saga. Oh boy. That was a good episode. That was a very, very good episode again. This show is so good. It really is. I like that they're taking more focus on these types of storylines, though, because we're um, because we're familiar enough with these whoops, uh, with these characters, we can afford to like have more personal-based episodes that focus on some of the stuff that we couldn't really cover in season one. So I being offered a chance with Iron Frill, obviously it could never work out, and I think I knows that. I think part of her would love to go back to that, but I don't think. I think all the time she spent with the group, she couldn't she couldn't just leave them, I don't think. But again, I would have thought Kotro would have been a bit more intervening in order to stop them from uh, going to Ai and just getting her opinion on things. So I feel like that was part of the reason why Kotro separated Ai, not just because of, you know, don't want to see Iron Frill and you together. It's like, that would be bad, obviously even though they said they've already done it before. I feel like that point was, I was being asked so many questions and relied upon for everything, basically. Every decision-making had to go to her. I feel like Control was intentionally trying to cut that back so that everyone else could make their own decisions and become more independent from it. Uh, maybe this was also to help boost up Junko so that she would be 
um, so that she would also gain some confidence in leadership. Uh, but yeah, so I'm surprised Koshiro just let them go CI basically, even if uh, she was interrupted by Iron Frail. But yeah, another good episode. The fucking Kotaro <laughs> army commander, leader, captain, corporal, whatever you want to call him. Uh, just that's something else. <laughs> the fucking sensors as well. You gotta love it. Just a all round fantastic episode again. Gotta love it. Uh, nice that this is a multi-parter, so we'll be getting the resolution next week and seeing what actually ends up happening. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments for you for the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 line you can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time. See you guys later.